Reddit has announced a few weeks ago that they will start charging insane prices for their API, which made the whole Reddit community protest the changes. Wait a second, we've been here before. Corporate green, am I right? Anyway, today we'll make Reddit on my own. Reddit, in one week, aka 7 days. How hard can it be? First off, we need a logo, so I made one in about 5 minutes. After I got the logo that I didn't pay 1 million dollars for, <coughs> I created a login page that's super easy to use. Just enter your username and password and you're logged in even if the account doesn't exist. Yeah I know, I combined and signed in and no one cares about the login page. Okay, let's move on. You also have this profile icon which opens the profile settings. But don't be fooled by the appearance. This code is 5% recyclable and 95% not original. But hey, I made the colors myself. Does it look cool? I would say so. No way, we got a main page. That doesn't work. Progress though. Now we gotta make other parts of the database. Posts and subreddits. It's the third day. Huge progress was made. You got the create post button above which redirects you to the submit page. Here you can create posts on different subreddits with titles and descriptions. Believe it or not, I did nothing on day 4. I was busy all day, so... Alright, since we have a way to create posts, let's make a page to look at them. Enjoy the CSS timelapse of random element, cause I don't know how to squeeze more content out of this. Anyway, now there's this. Funny script make box be bigger if more content. There's also a bug that I made where the sub-edit... Wait, what's that? Sub-edit? Yes. Everything inside Fedit is branded. This service and location notice that the term is a copyright word and any unauthorized usage may result in legal consequences. Please be advised that the copyright holder is the right to pursue legal action. Things are also not centered. It's a mess, okay? But it's usable. If you're feeling uncomfortable because of things not being centered, that's a skill issue on your end. Now, because I'm scared of creating the comment section feature, I'll make the front page actually work. Alright, look at what I can do now. That's cool, but now I broke the mode button. Uh, okay, the front page fully works now. Almost. What we need now is a fancy algorithm to detect what you like looking at. And yeah, enjoy this time lapse of me making it. Thought I will leave you alone? Nah, let me explain how it will work. Basically, when you will click on a post, you are sending a get request to get post. There, the script will store which subreddit the post is from in order to create this object called most visited subreddit, which will then be used to determine from which subreddit the post should be recommended. Alright, now that what I explained is done, it's time to make the actual algorithm. Okay, so here's the front page working with the algorithm. On day 6 I made the sub page, where posts are being shown only from that sub and randomly sorted based off activity. And I also just copied the same code, modified it a bit, and made the profile page where your post will be shown sorted by date. But wait. Something is missing here. And no, it's not the fact that everything is broken or that for some reason I have an XSS exploit. 
Whatever that is, karma is missing. Yeah, that juicy number that tells you how many upvotes you've gained. Who cares about security, man? There's such a primitive word let's out. Karma. It's here. But now upvotes don't work. Again. Let's fix them. The code is turning unreadable. But hey, votes work now. But not really. And they're very slow. And broken. Okay, forget it. At least you can upvote and downvote now. Who cares about annoying errors and front-end mistakes? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, since we got one day left, I'll switch the goal. If something works, we do not touch it. Now we gotta make a way to create and edit sub edits. And a way to edit your profile. But that's an issue for the future me. Alright, so, we got around 2 hours left, cause I forgot to look at the timer. I quickly copied the code from the create post page and pasted it inside edit sub edit. You can set an icon too, and the page also acts as a way to create a sub edit. And then I copied it into edit profile too. Few minutes left, so I fixed some bugs. Okay, who am I fooling? I just fixed one bug where I just had to add another input field when you're creating a post. The site is still broken. I made users be able to set sub-edit icons, but I didn't change the sub-edit code to show it, and I had to record this video script twice because I forgot to turn on the audio. Ugh. If for some reason you wanna contribute, the GitHub link will be in the description. But yeah, if you wanna see it, go to whatever link will be in the description. Oh yeah, fadedotspace. If it crashes, the script kid has got me. And uh, I wanna end this with a code. As someone said, this is Opera GX Team 3D clone. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Thanks to all of the patrons for supporting the channel. I was gonna miss. See you last time.